What is cracking peoples? Peoples? You are now peoples. Anyway, I want to talk about a few misconceptions that a lot of people who get into Unity, especially people who move from software development and they start using Unity, they get all confused with some things they think they should not do, but they are done different in Unity. Like for example, the other day I sent an email to my subscribers. If you're not subscribed, like click the link below to be subscribed, you know. And I've talked about comments because in software development, in the holy land of software development using comments in your code is you know not that good accepted or whatever the word is but anyways you should not do it that often you know because in software development you should give meaningful names and to your functions to your variables and that's how you will know what pieces of your code are doing. It's the same in Unity. You should also give meaningful names to your variables to your functions to your classes but also you can use comments to you know comment out or comment for a block of code. What is it doing? What is the purpose? In short, I'm not saying you should write an essay or you know a paragraph of a gazillion words. Just write a short, brief description what that function is doing. And as I said, people who come from software development, they think they should not be doing these things. Another thing that I also see is that people are obsessed with static variables, especially those who come from software development or people who learned to program with, for example, Java, or, or even C sharp because you need to use a C sharp and even C sharp but they learned it in a desktop environment in terms of they're creating apps for the desktop and they're like oh you should not be using static variables and all of the good stuff but you know as I said in unity things are done differently for example I use static variables in unity a lot when I say static variables mostly singletons and instances you know you can create a singleton out of a class and then you can use class dot instance and then you can use all of its public variables and functions and so on and so forth in every single one of the games that I have published I have at least five or six on either or even more singletons in the game the whole time controlling the gameplay controlling the data management controlling the game over high score and so on and so forth and every time I profile those games they run at 60 frames per second on low end devices so it's not the same if you use static variables in software development or when you use static variables in unity so get used to it and use the profiler just to profile things and and see what is actually happening before you give a judgment about things another thing that I also see is the naming conventions of variables now, don't get me wrong, there are naming conventions in programming, and of course you should be on that path of good naming conventions, for example, you know, camel case or using underscore or whatnot, but people who come from a certain part of software development where, for example, you use camel case, they don't allow, just don't do anything else, don't, don't use another blah, 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 blah. When you're developing games on your own, which is when I do with my team, I have my own naming conventions. For example, for private variables, often I put underscore before the name of the variable. Also for coroutine functions. So when I create a coroutine, which is a function that delays the execution, I also set a name or underscore before the name. Now, a lot of people, go, you're giving underscores for functions, you're crazy. Yeah, but this is my own preference when I, you know, develop my own games. If I were to work for a company, they tell me don't do that, then I will not do it. I will follow their own naming conventions. This is another thing that I want to mention is that different companies will have different naming conventions because a lot of you guys want to learn game development to get into companies to work for, you know, big AAA titles and so on and so forth depending on the company, they will have their own naming convention. And maybe the ones that you learned in software development or the ones that you used in the previous company don't work. Simply, they don't want to use that naming convention. So also keep that in mind. Another thing that I also see is that a lot of people, and I had a comment about this the other day in one of my courses, in the most comprehensive one, that is, you can you know look at up, link is in the description below. Somebody was asking if I'm going to do new UI if I'm going to introduce or create a tutorial about new UI system. And I said, at the moment, I don't have it, but yes, I plan to do that in the future because I'm updating the course. But I said, don't worry about it because you can use still use the old UI, old in quotes, I still use it because it's still efficient. And we started, it's not an argument, but he, 
he gave his counter argument to that. He's like, I come from web development and in web development, because I mentioned, don't worry if you're using outdated things in Unity because sometimes you want to use outdated things in Unity. And when I, I say in quotes outdated, because you will find people even today who still cr use Unity 5 version or, or 2017 and so on and so forth to create their games because other versions will break their game if they are, you know, far in the development. I, the other day, used Unity version 2020 to create my game, but I dropped it because it has a bug where you cannot profile your mobile games. So I mentioned all of this and he's like, I come from software, I've come from web development and in web development, if you use old technology, you're screwed because if you try to create, I don't know what exactly he mentioned, I don't have a comment right here, so web dev guys among you will probably, you know, correct me, but he said, if I try to, you know, create a website using jQuery now, people will laugh at me or whatever, but if I use React to build the website, that's much better, more efficient, and so on and so forth, and I get that, I get that, and you have a point. But in Unity, it's not always like that. As I said, I am still using the old UI. I'm saying, again, in quotes, old UI, but the current UI system that we all know. And it works perfectly fine. Every single game that I've created in the past four months, I have profiled it. It works 60 frames per second. Why should I move to the new one if only if it offers something really, really cool and... and really something that it's really that you can see is is a lot advanced in terms of the previous one or over the previous one otherwise i'm going to continue using the old one until they drop it you know or until it starts you know to 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 have very significant changes in terms of performance but still that's ui it works very well i can position it wherever i want to position it in the screen so on and so forth you get the point so don't always strive towards the newest thing, towards the newest version, towards the best solution in software development, because let's face it, game development is different than software development. Game development with Unity is different than game development with Godot. Game development with Godot is different than game development with Unreal Engine and so on and so forth. So depending on which software you're using, depending on which programming language you're using, what you are creating, are you working on your own? Are you working with your own team? Are you working for a company, remote or, or whatever, physically being present, present, you will follow the guidelines there. If you're working on your own, you can have your own, you can have your own naming conventions, your own habits that you do in your code. Of course, just make sure that they don't strive away from the, you know, regular and, and, and normal conventions that most of the people are using. You can have them in, in those bounds, but you can, you know, just strive away a little bit from them. Because if you apply for a job tomorrow, you still want to have, you know, that style of programming that everybody can read. But it's not strictly that if you come from software development, oh, I need to use it like same here. Oh, in Java, I use camel case name, so I need to use it here. No, you can have underscores, which, you know, as I said, I do, and so on and so forth. And it's not always the newest software, the newest thing is the best in Unity, because sometimes it has bugs. As I said, Unity 2020, you cannot profile your games. I don't know if that is for every version, but I had, I don't know, point two. I'm not sure. But anyways, the version that I had, I could not profile my games. So I had to downgrade my game to... 2019 version in order to finish it and in order to profile it to see if it works well and then publish it. So yeah, these are just a few things at the top of my head that I thought about this morning. Maybe there are more, but you know, every single time you have this issue, this is how people do it in software development. This is how they just, you know, you can look it up. You can look up the code and compare it and so on and so forth, but just don't think that only one way is the right way and all other ways are wrong. Yeah. That was on top of my head. Uh, I don't have anything else clever to say. Anyways, if you want to check out my comprehensive course, link is in the description below. You can get a free trial for three days. And uh, if you like it, then, you know, stay subscribed. If not, you know, you can just unsubscribe. I still love you. And uh, yeah, hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.